fuck not go. Ain't nobody behind me. I'm behind me. My niggas on the side of me. Look, these are the balls of the strong, not the balls of the weak. About to make this niggas who think he spit hard balls. All this speak. Look, before this battle came into fruition, niggas already had counted me out like I was Ralph from New Edition. Niggas immediately got in their feelings, started dissing. Said there was no competition without even giving me a listen. That's a dick rider. Said I was gonna be your victim. I mean, another number under math body count. But what's funny about that? I don't ever remember math being or winning any battles or bouts. So I guess everybody wondering what this challenge all about. Keep listening. Yeah, I called the nigga out in box. Left the nigga in shock because he went straight to his timeline and tagged me and posted and said, This nigga Denard Castile is clearly delusional. If you think he can fuck with me on any level of rap, but I got some news for you. I mean, he said the conclusion was that I'll be losing. But you must have wasn't thinking right there. You had to be drunk because nothing is ever clear about delusions. Am I right? Huh. Then the nigga made a video. Said he was going to kill me. Give me that sauce. Said I was going to die. My reply? Nigga, you can't kill what's already walking dead. Bug hit him with the line like, you can't kill what can't die. Brandon T jumped in on it like, damn, them niggas contradicting each other. First, Fix said he was walking dead. Bug said he was alive. But it was something about them two lines that Brandon Latigue didn't realize. That a ghost is dead to you, but to itself is a lie. Nigga, catch your head. These tales from the dark side, Eagle Street. I mean, then they're going to go on talking about remember what you said. You know, that night he was talking about, said that we was just talking about battling and how niggas from the S&P got talent and how we could bring it to the limelight. Said that I complimented his skills and say he rhymed nice. I mean, indeed that's true. I mean, I'm not a hater. I give props where props is due. Said that I said that it was hard for me to listen to you Cause it make me want to do what you do That's because if I punch line math I would do it better than you See you didn't even see that coming Shit But since you want to talk about remember what you said Nigga let's talk about remember what you said Nigga keep it real I mean do you swear to tell the truth The whole truth nothing but the truth So help you God put this on your daughter life Okay, let's take it back to that night. You know, when we was at my house, the one I live with my mama. Yeah, let's take it back to that night where we was talking about battling and how niggas from the S&P, specifically Franklin, got talent and how we could bring it to the limelight. Remember you said? Arrogance. Look, remember you said that you feel like you the only nigga from Franklin that deserve a major deal? I mean, you mean to tell me it's not one other nigga than you that deserves to blow? Not me, Killer, Petey, Israel, j Wo, Nuke, Baby C, your big homie B Dub, the nigga you fuck with, Trouble Trug, your nigga in your set, Jetty, not even our nigga kid. Oh, that's how you feel? You <laughs> fat, skinny nigga? I mean, how the fuck you get on camera, nigga? Pause. How the fuck you get on camera, nigga, with a fucking t shirt that'll fit me tight? <laughs> fuck, spoil, look. The Let's go, man. You mean to tell me it's not one other nigga than you that deserve to blow? Not me, Killer, Peter Israel, or J. Wo, New, Baby C, the niggas you fuck with. I mean, your big homie. B. Dub, the nigga you fuck with. Trouble, Trouble, the nigga in your set. Jetty, not even our nigga kiddo. That's how you feel? Well, I feel since you feel like you the only nigga from our hood that deserve to blow. I'm feeling like, nigga, you don't deserve to be from our hood no more, nigga. Hmm. Run this nigga out of town like he from out of town. If he come back down, beat that nigga back down. This time, watch that nigga fill the mouth out with soap. Break his face on the ground. Take what's in his pocket. Probably nothing. But they'll still leave that nigga dirt broke. I mean, cuz. Word on the street is, t Mav refused to collab with a nigga from back home. Said he'll kill a nigga on his own song. Nigga, you ain't no renegade, nigga. You've been afraid, nigga. You couldn't MJ if he came out of retirement the second time with the 4-5. You're not the best, so I guess my chest waiting on them two nines. Pull up. Hmm. Hmm. Nothing about your style is original. It's all stolen. You should be a convict. Nigga, you start all them weak ass balls off with. I said, nigga, that's hollow the darn shit. Hmm. And saying I ought to quit and get me a nine to five. I mean, but I got a question from Alvis. If rapping working so well for you, why you got a nine to five? <laughs> Cut that shit. <laughs>